Mozambique's manta rays form partnerships with eight different species of cleaner fish. The cleaners remove parasites, mucus, and dead skin from the manta ray's body. Each fish cleans a different area, so they don't compete with each other. But on this reef, the sergeant major damselfish outnumber the other cleaners. The rays can spend as long as 10 hours interacting with the cleaners. Mantas have the largest brain of any fish in the ocean, specifically the regions of the brain responsible for sensory functions, memory, and learning. Behavior in this research footage suggests that manta rays signal to the fish the body parts they want cleaned. They flick the back of their pectoral fins or flare their gills to indicate these areas require immediate attention. On this reef, one manta ray demands more attention than the rest. This female reef manta bears a scar from a shark bite on her pectoral fin. A damselfish follows closely behind her to clean the wound. The ray's bloated stomach shows she's pregnant she will need to be cautious in these waters. With the mantas, you do see a lot of predator scars uh, on their pectoral fins. Uh, this is usually from bigger shark species. Zambezi sharks, blacktip sharks, a lot of different shark species that could potentially be preying on the mantas. So we do see a lot of the mantas with these big chunks taken out of them. For this soon-to-be mother, the worst is over. A manta ray's tissue regenerates incredibly fast. With a little help from the damselfish, the wound remains clean and should heal completely in a few weeks.